What is up, guys and dolls? This is the Vlogamy. And you might be hearing some difference in my voice. Uh, I have been battling a head cold for the past few days, or it's been sinuses or something. Whatever it is, I know that my head just doesn't like me right now. But I have been feeling better, so... That's a definite plus. So, the question that on everybody's mind has it recently has been if I ended up passing my driver's test yesterday. Well, uh, I did have quite a full day, so let's get to it. So I started off yesterday that I had to call in to work to because my appointment was at 11.30 and my schedule called for me to be for in at 11 to 5. But I had it all figured out, somebody covered for me, so it, that was all covered. So I went to get my test done, not in the town that I'm in now, but the town that I grew up in, because I'm still a little unfamiliar with the street layout and all that kind of stuff here in this city. I thought I'd just be more comfortable in a place that I really knew. While I was actually at the DMV, I ran into another student that I graduated high school with. And I thought, man, this week has been pretty crazy for running into old uh, classmates. So she actually uh, works there. She didn't give me my test. Uh, the lady that gave me my test was a sweet older lady. We uh, started the test uh, just driving right away. For some reason I thought that you actually had to take the written test over again and then the driving test but that wasn't the case I just had to go right to the driving which was nice so we hopped into my dad's car because I actually drove from here to there oh no 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 wait uh, we drove my stepmom's car that's it I drove my dad's car from here to where she worked because she was working at the time and then I <coughs> sorry I took her car uh, to the test well my dad drove uh, me to my test but uh, anyway during the test we drove around a little bit you know just regular stuff and I, the, the most nervous I was was about the parallel parking, which I guess I did pretty well on because she said, good enough, <laughs> it worked for me, is what she said. So then we kept driving around, uh, just making random turns going in through streets. I'm sure she had a, a route planned out, but it all just seemed like turn left here and then turn right there and go straight here and you know, whatever. Well, as we were uh, driving, we got in, onto the uh, busy kind of street, the main street, and we had traffic coming at us. And I was waiting my turn. All of a sudden, she freaked out and tried to grab the wheel when a semi was coming by as I was waiting for my turn, I just kind of looked at her and she was like, oh, sorry, I thought you were going to turn. I, I wasn't, but I thought that, that was kind of funny. Well, anyway, uh, we drove back in and she's like, congratulations, you passed. So, yay. We went in there and uh, I got my picture taken and everything. And she's like, all right, thanks. Here's your temporary license. So, and as we were walking out, she was like, oh, wait, wait, hey, 
you know, I, I, I forgot you need to find the whatever it was. I don't remember. I was like, all right. They were like, oh, I thought I remembered that. I was like, all right. No, well, as long as we hadn't actually left. So we started leaving again. This time we got out to the parking lot, almost to the car, and she came to my dad and she was like, oh, hey, hey, Sean, I forgot something else. Can you come back? So I went back in there and had to fill out some more stuff. So it just, just kind of felt like going back and forth. You know, it's just like, but I finally got everything signed and off we went. So after that, I decided to go and spend a little bit of time with my grandma at her, uh, her place because it was just kind of on the way. I hadn't seen her for maybe about a month. So I just kind of wanted to check up on her, visit with her, say hi, all that stuff. It was nice. It was nice visiting with her. Uh, and then while I was there, I actually got a call from my workplace asking if I could uh, work at night, that night, from 7 to 11. And I thought, well, I was pretty lucky. I mean, I couldn't go in in the, in the morning, so at least I could, you know, fill in at least part of my shift uh, that night. One of the uh, baggers decided that, uh, well, I don't know, he wanted to uh, drive to Chicago and didn't want to do it, you know, at night, uh, like after his shift. So I decided to take his uh, shift to help him out and help out all those people. But as I was, uh, uh, when I was called in, it gave me an interesting opportunity. To actually drive solo for my first time ever. So I actually did that. I actually drove from here, my house, uh, all the way to my actual uh, work. And uh, it was pretty nerve wracking to say the least. I was very nervous. When I was a kid, I, I think I've mentioned this before, but I, when I was a kid, I w was uh, in a lot of car accidents. In fact, uh, the last one that I was in was probably the worst, and I actually ended up getting a scar, I don't know if you can see it, uh, right in my eyebrow here. You can see that it actually uh, doesn't grow here anymore, but I actually ended up yeah, getting that scar from uh, uh, being with my grandpa. I wasn't wearing my seatbelt, and he hit a parked car, and it kind of blew me forward, and I smashed my head into the sun visor, and the glasses that I was that I wore currently was actually kind of pushed up into my head. And <laughs> Uh, when I, uh, got out of the car, a lady was like, are you all right? I was like, yeah, I feel fine. Cause I didn't even feel any pain until I actually, uh, I didn't even know what happened. I just thought my glasses were a little bit, uh, that they were actually kind of in my head a little bit. Oh, sorry if that grosses you out, but. I thought I was like, oh sure, I feel fine, until I actually saw like little blood start running down my glasses. And the first thing that I thought about was the James Bond opening when he shoots the camera and the blood comes down. It looked almost exactly like that. But I'm getting off topic. So yesterday was my first day actually driving to work, and. I guess I did pretty well. I mean, I got there uh, in one piece, and I got back in one piece. So it was actually kind of interesting. 
I uh, drove there in the day, and I got the experience of driving back at night, which I actually kind of prefer driving at night. I know that seems kind of odd, but uh, my uh, friend Daniel actually helped me uh, drive uh, a few years ago. He helped teach me a little bit, and most of our uh, practice was at night, so I actually feel a little more comfortable driving at night than I do in the day. There's a lot less traffic. You can't your visibility is a little cut down, I think, but I would prefer that uh, to having a bunch of heavy traffic that I have to worry about. But uh, that's what's been going on. I'm actually uh, one step closer to completing one of my big three. I'll say that uh, one point A has been completed getting my license and all that's left in that one is uh, buying my car and I'm starting to get uh, save up some pretty good money to where I could uh, actually afford you know a fairly runnable one <laughs> not have a piece of crap but yep that is uh, all that I have so far. I'm sorry I didn't actually uh, post this last night, but once I got back, I had a, you know, obviously I had such a full day. I just wanted to crash out. And, uh, not to mention, you know, uh, my sinuses were uh, kind of doing a number on me like all day that day. I was like, oh, I just. Uh, so that's why I waited till tonight when I had a little bit more free time. So I think that, uh, this video has probably gone on a little bit long enough. I will talk to you guys later. See ya.